Amidst bow rifles, RPGs, and advanced airsoft vehicles, the CY-6 took it a step further, unveiling a rocket launcher. It runs on compressed air, making it easy to carry and simple to aim. Picture yourself in a game, peeking out from your hiding spot and witnessing rockets in flight. Luckily, the engineering prowess hasn't quite reached the airsoft equivalent of the B-52. Back in 2010, the New York Times dubbed the AR-15 rifle the most loved yet hated gun in the United States. It's reliable, straightforward, and still making headlines today. The airsoft scene hasn't overlooked the AR-15, giving us the Nemesis DT-4, a twin-barrel version worth considering at $470. Buyers get an all-metal receiver, a programmable trigger for tweaking fire modes, and a decent range even in windy conditions. It's possible to hit a target at a distance of 76M with an adjustable length from 72 to 80 centimeters and electric power. This product is genuinely intriguing. Now let's check out three different grenade launchers. The Airsoft Launcher MGL, similar to its real counterpart, accommodates six rounds of 40mm caliber in the drum. Thanks to the use of plastic, it's relatively light, weighing up to 2.4 kilograms depending on the version. The MGL comes with a price tag of $255. If that seems too expensive, consider the RPG-26A Glenn at $157. It can hit enemy equipment and fortifications from a distance of 100M, even in windy conditions. Plus, the built-in battery provides 100 shots. For those in search of a more compact option, there's the Ultra Force 40. It's a pistol-sized grenade launcher with a similar price as the RPG-26. The range is reduced to 20M, but it still handles 40mm rounds. The folks behind FLAC 5 and FLAC 10 claim that these aren't your run-of-the-mill shotguns, they're super shotguns boasting incredible firepower. Let's check if they live up to the hype. Both versions operate on green gas, and a full refill can handle a thousand rounds. They've got a semi-automatic firing mode and a 1.8M spread at 30M of range. So what sets them apart? It boils down to the number of BBs per blast, 5 for the FLAC 5 and 10 for the FLAC 10. Remarkably, both models come at the same price, $600. The Tornado 2 comes with a price tag of $125 but it stands out as the most potent airsoft grenade around. It releases 200 BBs in a full 360 degrees spread, reaching a speed of 73 meters per second, twice as fast as its counterparts. Conveniently, it comes with a timer offering three settings, one, three, or five seconds. Built sturdy with metal, the Tornado 2 can handle throws on concrete floors. It operates on green gas and is a reusable model, which is appropriate considering the price. Interestingly, it's crafted by the same company behind the FLAC 5 and the FLAC 10. The creators of the HK Army Fossil CS3 aim for perfection and claim to have crafted the ultimate paintball marker. In terms of cost, it's quite an investment. 
the Ellie Aurora version will set you back $4,000. What sets it apart from competitors is the reduced recoil and quieter shots. It's designed to handle pressures between 6.5 and 7.2 bar, which is much lower than the competition. Rough estimates suggest a near 20% increase in shooting efficiency compared to the company's previous models. They've also considered ergonomics, providing an improved grip with revised grip geometry. On top of that, the marker sports a vibrant design. If you spend your days playing airsoft and your nights watching historical movies, you might just dream about something like this. However, in reality, this hybrid between a bow and a rifle isn't just a prop but a functional weapon. Its power sits around 1.2 jowls, but the makers suggest that it can be increased if you want it to feel like a sniper. Technically, the hybrid operates like a spring rifle, the arrow is essentially a piston moving back and forth in the cylinder. It also features a hopper magazine for 30 rounds. For convenience, the weapon comes partially disassembled. Interestingly, the maker plans to sell not the weapon but the 3D files so people can print the parts themselves. Take the M132 micro gun, for instance. Sure, it comes with a price tag of $1,761, but it's no surprise considering a real minigun costs around $200,000. The micro gun packs a punch with all four barrels in action, delivering a firepower of 2,280 shots per minute. You can fuel it not just with compressed air, but also green gas, a mixture with pressurized propane gas. This gun operates at a 6mm caliber and weighs in at 4.4 kilograms. similar to Schwarzenegger's gear and commando, just in a smaller size. That's the idea behind this launcher. It's lightweight, under 100G, and compatible with rifles and pistols. You can mount it on a Picatinny or Weaver rail, surprising your enemy with 40 BBs in one shot. Sure, reloading it won't be quick, but in close quarters with multiple opponents, it'll surely rattle some nerves. This solid aluminum piece goes for $63, but remember, you'll need to buy the green gas cylinder separately. In 2015, gun enthusiasts were taken aback by the Silencer Co. Maxim 9 pistol. The makers claim that it's the world's first PP with a built-in silencer not commissioned by law enforcement. We've already showcased it on TechZone, but what about the Airsoft version? This is a 6mm caliber model available to everyone for $229. The attention to detail is impressive, just like the original. The front plate is removable, thanks to reinforced polymers and aircraft aluminum. The gun weighs less than 900 G, firing requires either green gas or CO2. The pistol also comes with an exclusive lighting feature, 